Hey, it's time to dish with D. That's me. Sorry I didn't vlog yesterday because it was a busy day. Um, I had my women's group um, big fundraiser vendor craft event. And I did get to my WW meeting because all meetings are important. And I was running in and running out. So I actually stayed for the meeting and I had run right back to the vendor event. And I was going to vlog on my way home from the vendor event. But I was running late because I was supposed to go somewhere. And uh, so I forgot. So I apologize. But I'm here today with the same vlog I would have had yesterday. Maybe not as quite as tired as I would have been yesterday. But all right. On one and upward. Dish with D lost two pounds this week. I know. Two pounds. Yeah. And makes her grand total of weight loss to 111.4. She's 158.6. She needs to get to her goal of 156. Now that would be 2.4 pounds, I believe, to my goal. I know, 2.4 pounds. And here's the thing. I told you about my friend who passed away. Well, her funeral is um, next Saturday. This Saturday. <laughs> this Saturday, which is my, my day. Wait, it's 11 o'clock. So I'm going to go to the, the viewing on Friday night. And then I'm going to go to her funeral mass at 11 o'clock on Saturday. But my Weight Watchers meeting is 8 o'clock. So I will be able to make my meeting. And my goal is to have the best damn week of my life. And I want to make goal on the day of her funeral. Because that's the day that she went. That's the reason I started going on Saturdays is because of Pat. Patricia. So she was 63, by the way, and passed away of complications due to a diverticulitis and um she was always my inspiration because she's you know I've been a Weight Watcher for a long time and she recommended Saturday morning meetings because of the girls that go to Saturday mornings and they're a fantastic group so I started with them about three years ago 2016 I used to go on Tuesday mornings a few years before that but when I started back at my 270 it was on Saturday mornings with Mary Lou and Pat's crew Pat made a Facebook page for this, the Mary Lou's classes. And the funny thing is, she had asked me to help her. Actually, I've been asking her because I know she's been busy with stuff. She just recently got married two years ago. First time she was ever married, 60 years old. So yeah, it's a big loss. It's just, it's, it's so many things I can't even get into. But I said to her, you know, you got so many things going on. She works at our local university, head of the public relations. She's a writer. She writes so, so many things for our parish. It's just a huge, huge community loss. It really, really is. And uh, we became really friendly once I started going to Weight Watchers. And you know, so it's it's just, it's it's it's, just, it's a big loss. And um, she helped. She finally said, "Could you please help me with the page?" I'm like, "Absolutely." You know, I have no problem. You know, I have obviously my own page as well, and a few other groups that I manage. I said, "Yeah." So. I often think, what if she didn't do that? And but so I am spearheading this group for our um, Mary Lou in her honor, and I will abide by her wishes and how she likes things run. And I know how you know the things that she likes and things that she didn't like. So I will keep up with her traditions because you know it was from her. So enough about my sad life. But yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna really work my butt off. It's a lot of weight for me to lose in a week. It's a lot. Especially because I'm down this far. I can be like two pounds off the week. But if you remember, I wasn't feeling well for most of the weekend. So, yeah, I expected over a pound and a half. I did. Because it, it, I the first part of the week, I didn't eat really that great. I still had a queasy crampiness. But that's it's gone. Sometimes, it's, sometimes you don't mind that because, you know, it helps with weight loss. But, yeah, that's a lot for, I mean, I'm going to do my best. I'm really going to, I would love, love, love to get my goal this week. But. I'll do the best I can. That's all you can do. And this week's recipe du jour is slow cooker cheese grits with greens and an egg. I love grits. I love grits. It's like polenta. I like polenta Italian. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of those kind of eggs. Like, I mean, I get where it would probably. I'm just. I like how it tastes, but the thought of it makes me want to vomit. I know, but I like it. So, but oh, I love oh and greens and mm, yeah. I would put. I would take the egg off and put some shrimp. That's what I do. My grilled shrimp will be fantastic on there. But this week's topic is, or last week's topic, by the time you see this, we're on YouTube. Um, seven truths to getting 
you moving more. Stubborn myths about activity keep too many of us sidelined. Let's kick a few of the most common ones to the curb and replace them with truths and strategies that'll help you get your body in motion. Pick one to try and then where will you go? Remember everybody's favorite saying, a body in motion stays in motion. A body at rest stays at rest. And like I said, you don't have to join a gym. You don't have to buy these fancy equipment. You don't have to buy a treadmill. You don't, you know, I mean, if you want to, sure. But there's no mandation. I mean, they just want you to move. And this routine doesn't exercise. It's not that I, I hate to say I don't exercise, but I didn't want exercise to be the reason that I lost weight. I wanted to be able to exercise to maybe maintain it because I don't, because if I don't, if I stop exercising, then the weight will come back on. So yeah, I just more for like toning up some of the flabby arms and the gut and the legs, you know, and chin, you know, somebody said there's something called face yoga. Yeah. YouTube. YouTube has some fantastic, fantastic free videos you can watch like Dish With Thee and like just workouts. There's Leslie Sansone walking videos and some low impact. Get some good ideas, really good ideas and the right your fingertips. Truth, truth, activity adds up. You don't need a whole sweaty hour of exercise. Every bit of movement counts. So lots of short walks. Great. I count my steps and I work as a teacher's aide and I do uh, lunch duty. So I constantly walk to the lunchroom and I get about between seven and 9,000 steps a day just at work. So it can be done. I, like I said, I don't go out of my way. I just try to, you know, maybe I do go out of my way a little bit. Like I try to do more. I don't complain. Like I would used to have the kids do stuff. Now I'll do stuff because I can get a few extra steps here and there. Truth. You don't need a gym. I think I just said that. Or a fancy equipment. You can hit your activity goals just by climbing the stairs on your commute, playing with your kids or stretching in your PJs. I tend to park further away from the stores. It gets me a couple extra walk and plus it's not too true because you know what i'm one of those people that i hate when i'm backing out to have somebody from my spot now i i know no don't 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 do that so i park pretty far away so nobody's looking for my spot because they all want the front spots so i park all the way back i don't mind walking right there it doesn't bother me it's a few yeah it's a few extra steps you can start where you are today it's better to begin with a doable activity and work your way up. A brisk walk, some squats, or a bike ride. Try anything that gets your heart going. Truth, strength training is key, but no big deal. Forget what you've heard about resistance training. It doesn't require giant clanking weights and you don't won't build mega muscles. Simple exercises that work against gravity, like plank, lunges, and modified push-ups will help tone your body and give your metabolism a nice boost. Five, truth, fun wins. Activity doesn't have to feel like work. Do what you enjoy and you'll be more likely to stick with it. This is true. Walking with a friend, walking your dog. Dogs love to walk. My dog loves to walk. I go near his leash, he goes ballistic. Timing is everything. You don't need to fit activity in before work. Try a lunchtime walk or get in steps after dinner, wherever is easiest for you. Activity seven is about more than weight. The benefits go way beyond the scale. Want a better mood, sound or sleep, and lower risk for of a host of diseases? Two words, just move. That's what they said, she said at the meeting yesterday. Sitting is the new heart attack. We're, because we're sitting so much, we're causing, I guess, less movements causing our bodies to, you know, get in bad shape so so yeah you don't have to have formal exercises a little bit dish with thee has lost 111 pounds with no formal exercise i haven't i've just you know, to get my steps in i do more walking than i've ever done like if i need something upstairs i'll go get it normally i always said one of my boys but now i just do it They're like you got that i'm like yeah go upstairs and i just do it because you know what it's a couple things and, and then you do you, and you get your heart rate up you get your you know Things pump in, so it's, you don't have to do anything that's extreme. That's what they're trying to say. Just get moving. And eventually, you get some of the way up, you'll be able to move more. You'll want to move more. And that's the truth. I do want to move more. I do want to do things. And I tie shoes for the kids. I bend down. I stoop up. And I, you know, I want to be independent. 
You know, I don't want to have depend on anybody. I want to depend on myself. And I'm getting there, and you're coming along for the ride. So, you never know what happens next week. I'm not even... I'm going to do my best, people. I would love, love, and honor of Pat to do this, but I'll do my best. And if not next week, there's still one more week. I'm going to do it by the end of November. That's for sure. That gives me four weeks. But I don't want to do it in four weeks. I want to do it next week. But it's a small goal. You know, it's, it's you know, I got two pounds off this week, which was more, a little more than I thought I was going to get. So I was a little bit excited about that. But anyway, I thank you for my way in and uh, my meeting topics that they had today or yesterday sorry about that all right guys um next week my leader has informed me that she may be talking about the new plan a day early because we we'll, we would have to wait a whole week she says she might touch on it next saturday so you never know when i'm gonna find out so have a great rest of your week today's sunday have a great sunday i apologize for not coming on yesterday but it was just crazy um, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you enjoy my way in videos, give them a thumbs up. Remember, I'm live tonight if you're seeing this early enough in the day. Sunday, 7 p.m., Tea with D. I'd love for you to join me. We have an interactive meeting. We'll talk about movement. We'll talk about recipes. We'll talk about my week, your week, their week, everybody's weeks. It's like a little um, mini online meeting that we've created in our community. So I love everybody. Everybody is welcome. Every weight loss plan is welcome. Bring a friend. You never know. You never know what you might learn or what you might share. I could learn because it's never too late for me to learn. So thanks again. <sighs> I'm exhausted. But have a great rest of your weekend. And have a great week. It's a Sunday.